And this is the final fifth part of the five part series, just four minutes long. We're gonna be talking about the scams in Florida. And this five part series talked about everything you need to be aware of before buying a home in Florida. So we are at the Perico Reserve in Manatee County. It's actually in Bradenton off of State Road 64, just before you get on to Anna Maria Island. And listen to this, the scammers are out there. This is what we need to talk about, all the scams and things that are happening here, because people get ripped off quite a bit in the state of Florida. So first, let's talk about the door knockers. These guys are the worst. Well, maybe not the worst, but they're pretty bad. So there's lots of different door knocking scammers out there. Most recently, we had a roofing scam. I talked about this in the last video about insurance, where they said that, hey, your roof is all bad and everything, and it really wasn't. Then they said, you can get a free roof sign here. You sign off your assignment of benefits, and then next thing you know, you're in a lawsuit that dragged on and on and on, and you're one of the reasons why the insurance rates went up. No one really won except for a few homeowners that ended up exiting the state. And it just was a bad scam and laws have changed. This is no longer possible to do this. Now, another one is contractors. Let me ask you this, contractors. If you're a contractor, please comment. Why is it that when you go to a neighborhood that has the same house, same square footage, same layout, but it's in a rich neighborhood, you charge more? And then when it's in a middle class neighborhood, you charge less. Why is it? And then also, when you have a remodel being done in a low income neighborhood, the job is done really badly, like you just don't care. And also, what about the people who are installing cable television? Listen, in the low income rentals, they'll drill through your damn floor and run the wire instead of just figuring out what's the most efficient way to drill through and provide cable service. They're gonna go and put holes into your roof to put up a satellite dish without even asking the homeowner. Now, they don't do that in nice neighborhoods, in middle class, in upper class neighborhoods. So this is a little bit of a scam to me because they treat you differently. And then while we're on the subject, let's talk about the contractors. So the contractors out there will just go and price something at one price in this neighborhood and a completely different price as soon as it's over the bridge on an island, on a barrier island. Listen, the way I say it is this. If you do work in the state of Florida, if you're a contractor, have your prices, have your profit margin and be done with it. Maybe there's something that I don't understand, but at the end of the day, maybe someone could just explain it to me. Take a look at this thing. This is weird. Okay, let's talk about another scam that's going on. And some people say it's not a scam, and maybe it's not, but it surely feels like one. And everyone that I have talked to, including my neighbor just today, has complained a little bit about this. And that's the solar guys, these solar door knockers. Listen, I don't know if there's any difference between the door knockers for solar in the state of Florida versus other states, except that we have the highest solar index. We have so much sun in the state of Florida, so many sunny days that we have a really good return on the solar panels that you put up on your roof. However, the promises are scams. They just overpromise and underdeliver every single time. And I'm not quite sure how it's so difficult to be honest and just say exactly what it is, what you're paying, what you're getting, and know with a maybe three or 4% probability of a differential that you're gonna get what you're paying for. They always over promise on how many kilowatts you're gonna get and they under promise on the price, meaning like it's, it's gonna be a lot more than they say it's gonna be. So at the end of the day, the homeowners just end up losing. And this is a very common one. Door knockers for solar are so common. And same thing with windows. A lot of them are actually companies that do both where they will replace your windows and they promise you that your windows are gonna be subsidized by the government. And that's not the case at all. There's a, maybe a government program to give you a loan, but then they inflate the prices of these windows and the solar and overall, it's just such a scam. I don't understand why some people fall into this trap of being a salesperson for this kind of stuff and not being fully honest. But I know that these people get paid commission only and they, I guess they gotta do what they gotta do and they're usually really young, so they have uh, lower morals. Wow, take a look at this. This is really cool. Wow, now this is probably as a result of a hurricane or a major force of wind. 
Hey, look, I really hope that you have enjoyed this five part series. And if you missed a part, please go to the description. You can see all the parts that we have of all the warning signs that I'm telling you about before moving to Florida. Now, look, my name is Machik Zaremba. I am a real estate agent. I'm here to sell real estate, help you buy, help you sell, help you invest. I've, I've been investing for 20 years myself. So if you want to do any of that, please drop a comment below. I'll let you know exactly what to do. From my opinion, being in the business over two decades. And if you need an agent from outside of my area, which is Sarasota, Manatee and Charlotte counties, no problem. I have relationships with amazing agents all across the state and even the country. I know lots of agents out there. So let me know. Reach out to me. Thanks a lot.